Hello and welcome to day six of the imminent Christmas advent cardinder. Things are heating up, we've pulled some cards because that was the main aim of this video. So I'm going to move this to the side and we're going to get on with... I, I always try to open it this, the wrong way, every day. I, I have not learned. So yesterday was day five we did manage to pull a uh, booster pack and they say manage to pull as i said before i think it's guaranteed now as a master of pattern recognition we've had a promo a pack a keychain a promo a pack i'm guessing this is going to be some kind of keychainy kind of thing um let's see though i could be wrong oh hang on i think i am wrong what is that was awkward to open uh, oh we have a sampling pack a fusion strike sampling pack all right well if i was very boring i'd keep this because like oh you don't see many of these but you know what i'm making a video i'm gonna open everything let me pull from this okay so sampling packs for those of you who don't know this is like three cards a fun pack sorry uh, maybe they call they used to be called sampling packs. Maybe I don't know. Um, so you typically get these attached to like magazines and stuff uh, in the UK at least. I've bought a few magazines simply for these. Okay, oh, hang on. There's an oh, there's a piece of paper as well. So like the the pack design is different. Technically speaking, you're less likely to pull anything crazy because it's three cards and you mostly pull commons and stuff. But still, you know, pretty cool. Let's take a quick look at here. So this is advertising uh, the Pokemon Center, and then there's the app, Pokemon TV, the uh, card decks. Uh, we've got, oh, Secrets of the Jungle, which is a Netflix movie. It's about Zarud, I think. We've got Fusion Strike, um, and then that is the thing. They, this is These are cool to have. They are kind of a bit of piece of history. Now, unfortunately, uh, because there aren't many cards, these cards have slightly warped again. That is just how this, you know, that's how this calendar kind of does it, I guess. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. So we've got a Carvana. Uh, as I said, I don't think we're going to pull anything super crazy, but you never know. I think people have pulled Vs and stuff from this. We've got a Clampill, very water-themed fun pack. Can we end on something cool? Oh! Okay, we've got a reverse Toga Demaro. You know what? From a fun pack, that's a pretty decent pull. Unless you're guaranteed a reverse hollow in everyone, in which case maybe it's not a crazy pull. Um, I don't think I've seen that Toga Demaro art, actually. He is very cool. Right, okay, so um, I am now going to move over to the box. BRB. All right, I'm back and it's time to yet again delve into this box. What will we find? It will be a Yu-Gi-Oh! Charity Pack. So, um, if this is going anything like yesterday's, we'll end up with a Pokemon Pack at the end. Uh, statistically, I think there are a few more Yu-Gi-Oh! Packs than there are Pokemon Packs. I think there's 18 Pokemon Packs and 24 Yu-Gi-Oh! So, you know, not, not a ton of difference. So, we begin with Ursa... Usarctic Dritron. Very nice. Yet again, filled with like words I cannot pronounce. We've got a Beat Trooper Squad. Very nice. Ooh. A DD Assault Carrier. So now DD is like a... Is that an old archetype I want to say, isn't it? I think it stands for like Dragon something, right? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. We've got Abyss Keeper. Very cool. That's a Link Monster. We've got a Ice Jade Ac Acti. Ac Acti or Act 1? No, that is Acti. Okay, that is like a shorthand for Activision, isn't it? Um, we've got Magical Cylinders. Oh. Oh, that's... God, I remember that from like, there's a really old episode. Um, with like the Maze Brothers or something in the anime, remember? Or am I thinking of something else? I don't know. We've got Penguin Cleric. That is adorable. Uh, that is very, very cute. I I would follow whatever religion that dude is ahead of. We've got Guncan Sunship Shiro Class Carrier. Okay, cool. So Guncan Suship. Oh, Suship. Oh, it's a sushi thing. It's like sushi boats. 
I guess it is. That's interesting. That's a that's a kind of cool theme. We've got rebuild deer. <laughs> so it's a deer that is rebuilding. It's out of mech deer, I guess. I mean, appropriate for Christmas, actually. You know what? If Santa lived in the cyberpunk future, I'm sure he'd ride one of these. Well, no, he'd be in a sleigh pulled by them. Uh, and our rare is contract with Don Thousand. Uh, I want to say Don Thousand is the villain of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, which is the anime I mentioned yesterday I'd seen, which is like the Xyz series of cards. Um, and yet again, because it's like gold text and this, I think this is either super or a secret rare. That is very cool, actually. Uh, Don Thousand, of course, featured in the anime. I don't know if he featured in the card game canon, if that even makes sense. Yeah, that was a very cool poll. Okay, that is something I recognise. Put that to the side. I'll delve once again and I will grab a lost or One, this really is a repeat of yesterday's because um, if you remember, I opened up a Pokemon pack. Technically today was a fun pack and not a full pack, but still. Then I started with the Yu-Gi-Oh thing and ended with a Pokemon one. So, uh, yesterday I did pull a Trainer Gallery card, so if I could repeat that, that would be very much appreciated. I'm going to go with Steel Energy today, as my guess. Oh, hey, there you go, Ooh. Are we on? are we on track to getting something good? I mean, that doesn't mean anything. Oh, the Arc Phone, which is from um, Pokemon Legends Arceus, it's the, the phone you use. We have a Medicham. Oh, the Misfortune Sisters. Okay, wow, this this is like Lost Origin is is very um, Legends Arceus focused then because these are like the the quote unquote bad villain team. They'll just pop up randomly and fight you. Uh, we've got C Dot. Hey, ah, oh, very cute horsey there. We've got a Meditite to go with that Medicham we just pulled. Very nice. Hey, Shellos, they definitely featured in the Pokemon Legends game because it was adorable. There was an island full of Shellos. And they just like wandered around and came up to you and it's very cute. We've got a Mianfu. A reverse uh, Fa Fontina, uh, who I... It's down the pearl, right? She's like a frontier brain or something. She's also got the Lost Zone ability, so some cards have play that involves the Lost Zone. I'm not going to bother reading that because it'll take too long. But you can tell, because everything's got the kind of weird colour. Can we end on a non-hollow rare? <laughs> okay, we've got a Bonnet. Bonnet's pretty cool. Uh, don't think I have this, but maybe I do. It's hard to remember what non-hollow rares I've pulled. But you know, it's it may not have been the hypest day, but I had fun. And you know why I had fun? Because you guys are watching. I assume someone's watching. Or oh, I'll watch this in a few years' time. So hello me. How am I doing? Anyway, before I go down the rabbit hole of talking to myself through the recesses of time, uh, I'll leave you go now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will, of course, be doing another video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, goodbye.